All right, today we are going to be factoring a fourth degree polynomial. And whenever you are factoring a fourth degree polynomial, the first thing you should do is look and see if it has a GCF. And in this case, we have an x in all four terms. So we know already that one of the factors in the final answer will be an x. Now we are going to have to rewrite this polynomial when I pull out the x to 3x to the third minus 7x squared plus 5x minus 1. Now if we can factor this third degree polynomial, that's good. So what we are going to do is list all the rational roots of that. In order to find the rational roots, recall that you need to take the factors of the last number and put it over top of the factors of the first number. So the factors of negative 1 are plus and minus 1. Those are the only things that multiply to negative 1. You can also have the factors of 3, which would be not only 1 times 3, but also their negatives. So that is plus and minus 1 and 3. Uh, that will give me a total of four possible factors. We could do 1 over 1, and we can do 1 over 3, and of course they're negatives. So plus and minus 1 over 1 is 1, and plus and minus 1 over 3 is 1 third. So that will give me four numbers that I will have to test. I will just choose one of them and plug it into the equation and see if I get zero. If I get zero, that means that that is a root or a zero of this polynomial. So I take one. Three times one cubed minus seven times one squared plus five times one minus one. And after a little calculation, I will quickly find out that that is actually zero. So I know that positive one is an actual root of this polynomial. I know that 0 is also a root of this polynomial because x is equal to 0. If you plug in x or 0 in for x, all these terms up here would go to 0, so you will know that 0 is also an actual root to this polynomial. Now, we have taken out a 1. We have found that 1 is an actual root. So what we need to do is write down its corresponding factor. And the factor that would get you a positive 1 would be x minus 1. If you set that equal to 0 and solved it, you would get a positive 1 as your root. So we know that x minus 1 should divide evenly into the blue polynomial that is the third degree power. So what we are going to do now is synthetic division to reduce that third degree polynomial to a second degree polynomial. We will take a positive 1 and put it in the box because that is the root that corresponds to the factor. We will place the numbers, or the coefficients, in front of each variable, making sure to have them all written down there. And then we'll do the synthetic division process. Step 1, bring down the 3. Step 2, multiply whatever's in the box by the 3 and put the answer in the next column. Then we'll combine our like terms, negative, three, or negative 7 plus 3 is 4. 1 times 4 is 4, and then, sorry, negative 4. And then 5 and negative 4 becomes a positive 1. 1 then will get multiplied by 1, which would get you a positive 1, and then 0 would be our remainder. So from the leftovers, we would have 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. That would go here if it were not factorable. However, we can try to factor this and see if we can break this down even simpler. So I'm going to multiply a times c and that'll get me 3. Two numbers that multiply to 3 that add to the negative 4 in the middle would be negative 3 and negative 1. So this is factorable. I'm going to rewrite this so that you can see it as I go through the factoring process. We are going to say 3x squared minus 3x minus 1x plus or minus 1. This would be rewriting that polynomial that we had at the bottom with the 4 being split up between negative 3 and negative 1, basically unsimplifying that polynomial. Combine these into groups, make sure to put a plus between them, and factor out the GCF of each group. 3x can come out of the first group, which would leave you with an x minus 1. A negative 1 can come out of the second group, which would leave you with a x minus 1. I apologize, this should have been a plus 1 right here. Now what we want to do is factor out the greatest common binomial factor of each, which is this x minus 1. And then we have a leftover 
of 3x and a negative 1, those things right there. So I know now that the leftovers would have factored to x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. And since I have now four factors, I know that this is all of the factors of the original polynomial. Also, these are all linear. You can find their corresponding roots by setting them each equal to 0. We have x equals 0. We have x minus 1 gets me positive 1. We have x minus 1 gets me another positive 1, so that has a multiplicity of 2. And we have 3x minus 1, when I set equal to 0, would get me a positive 1 3rd.